Are you in a low carb recipe rut? I have a feeling these just might do the trick. Hey there, I'm London Brazil and you are watching Evolving Table, where we make good food that's also good for you. Like these Mexican stuffed bell peppers with a ground taco meat filling that gets stuffed into colorful bell peppers and then baked in the oven until they are bubbling over with cheesy goodness. Not to mention they also make one of the best meal prep recipes that you can enjoy all week long. So let's go ahead and jump straight in and start cooking them up. For this recipe, you'll need three medium to large sized bell peppers. You can either get all of one color or choose different ones for a brighter dish. Try to make sure they're as close to the same size as possible so they cook up evenly in the oven. To prepare the peppers, you'll want to first cut them in half lengthwise, starting from the stem end. Then cut around the edges to release the ribs. Grab any remaining ribs or seeds that are attached so you can completely remove them. Repeat this with the remaining bell peppers. Place the peppers cut side up in a large baking dish and then sprinkle with a dash of salt and pepper in each one. This is my little secret to make sure those peppers come out just as flavorful as the filling. Next you're going to want to grab one third cup of water and carefully pour it into the baking dish. You want just enough so it covers the bottom of the pan. Bake peppers in a preheated 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until they pierce easily with a fork. Now that our peppers are cooking away, it's time to get started on that ground meat filling. It's really just like what you would put into your typical ground beef taco. For this, I'm going to be using an 85-15 ground beef today, but you can also use a leaner or fattier type or even ground chicken, turkey, or venison instead. Place a large skillet over medium heat. Drizzle in two tablespoons of olive or avocado oil, and then add half of a finely diced sweet onion. Saute for two to three minutes or until the onion becomes translucent. Add two cloves of crushed garlic and continue sauteing for one minute. Push the onion to the side and add in one pound of ground meat. Cook for seven to eight minutes or until it is cooked through. And then a nifty little trick my father-in-love taught me. You can actually use a potato masher to mash up all of that ground beef into fine crumples. Reduce the heat to low and add in one cup of salsa. A mild or medium heat can be used depending on your desired spice level. Two tablespoons of taco seasoning. A store-bought packet can be used or you can make it at home with this recipe right up here. One fourth teaspoon of salt to taste one cup of black beans that have been rinsed and drained, and one cup of canned or previously frozen corn. Stir and let simmer for a few minutes or until the corn and beans are heated through. Turn off the heat and mix in half a cup of shredded cheddar or Monterey Jack cheese. All right, we've got our peppers cooked, our ground meat filling is ready to go. Now it's just time to fill them up. But before you do, you wanna first make sure and drain out any of the excess liquid that has gathered in the peppers. Be very careful when you do this because the peppers are going to be pretty hot. 
and then fill each pepper half liberally with a ground meat mixture. It's okay if a little bit of it spills over. Sprinkle another tablespoon or so of shredded cheese on top of each pepper half. Bake the stuffed peppers in the preheated oven for another five to 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted and the peppers are tender. Serve immediately with finely chopped cilantro, sour cream, or even guacamole. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh, so much delicious Mexican flavor, and we didn't even need all of those extra carbs. If you want a few more Mexican-inspired dishes, make sure you check out these other healthy Mexican recipes. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.